What's going on, everybody? Welcome back Just to the draft hour. Hour of power. <clears throat> What's a lab top? That's the top of a lab? That's crazy. Crutch Jr., I did your stip recently. I thought it went pretty well. I don't know if you caught it. I don't know if it's up yet. I don't know what's going on. It will be on YouTube's for sure. <coughs> take this crystal brand. He's just too good not to take. Ooh, I like a through the breach. Ooh, give me that through the breach. All right, we're through the breaching. We're breaching, boys. Now I'll probably watch the draft and then go to bed. But feel free to come off without me, and I'll watch it on the on the yoist 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 of uh, the yoist of tubes. I was like, what's the yoist of tubes? <laughs> oh, give me them yoist tubes. I'm gonna take Blood Crypt here because, well, look at our land. Look at our look at our things. None of these cards are good with through the breach. Uh, Sylvan Library is top tier. Counter spell is very good, but let's try to stick with what we got. Can we just living death? Ugin does not work with through the breach, unfortunately. Watery Grave could be very good. God, I love, dude. I love the, I love the Grixis decks, man. Living Death will probably come back. I'm just going to take the Water Grave. I think it's just a higher... Oh, I like a Chandra. Lava Claw Reaches is nice, but I think Chandra's top tier. Hope to find something to do with it. I don't need anything to do with Ugin. You just cast it and you're good. What are you going to do with that Ugin? Cast it. Oh, that's pretty good. You could do a little Mardu. Unfortunately, this is a lot of green cards and a lot of... Abzan. This is a lot. Of, this is an Abzan pack. Abzan, 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 Abzan. And then two colorless cards. I'll just take Plague Crafter. Whatever. You're a fast typer. Just think how quickly you could type up an article on Bluetron after you play it. <laughs> Look, that is the most... Uh, wow, that was that was a reach there, buddy. But I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yogmoth's bargain. All right. Well, Geez, again, nothing great for us. I'm really feeling like Ab uh, Mardu is kind of the way to go here. We could take Lightning Helix, we could take Kaya or Elspeth if that's the case. Uh... Hey, yo, 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 what up, Jake P? I think we're taking Lightning Helix here. So Kaya, Lightning Helix, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Bob is bad in the queue, but it's not great in like decks where you're trying to next where you're trying to reanimate I do like Akaya yeah it's easily splashable see Nicol Bolas is why we were like let's take this watery grave this guy we this guy did not wheel last time and uh, now I'm here for it Now I'm here for it. <laughs> Dark Petition does not seem terrible. 
I think it's better than Thing in the Ice. It's probably better than Abbot of Carol Keep. I don't know if we'd play it. The rest is good. <clears throat> Makes things nice and safe. I like these cards so far. I do want the Ulamog. Or the Emrakul, rather. Marsh Flats. Oh yeah, we'll take Marsh Flats. Wow, that's a that's a nice little Marsh Flats. Hmm, bunch of unexciting things. We have two cards that kill Planeswalkers now. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Sure, I'll take a Blooming Marsh. And the Lightning Helix came back. All right, well. The white splash is getting a little easier. <clears throat> well, we did get power in this pack. It's just not any good. Also, we're we're definitely black and red. We could be blue and we could be white. So the two lands that are in this pack are green and green. I see. I see. I kind of like Ulamog with Through the Breach here. Like, we have no way to get Nicol Bolas in the graveyard, so I don't want to take Reanimate. I'd rather just take the Ulamog to have something to through the Breach, which is definitely in our deck. And we could also get Sneak Attack, maybe. Plus, I think Reanimate might table. Sure, reanimate as any graveyard, but I'm not going to be like, oh, I hope you got a big fat idiot that I was able to kill and put it back in there. I mean, that's good for the most part, but I'm going to take this Scalding Tarn. Makes this Nicol Bolas better. Even Rob knows that. Doubt it. <clears throat> Like all the shrine, <clears throat> we have marsh flats. Uh, Night's Whisper also pretty good. Solemn Simulacrum also pretty good. I like I like Solemn actually. Yeah, I think I like Solemn better than anything else. It is Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. What a what a bold faced lie. Um, it's just Ophiomancer. Ophiomancer is underwhelming, but. Could just take Manamorphose. It's like a free card. I do like an Ophiomancer, and like it just turns on things. Like if you get a Skull Clamp, if you get some swords, I'll take Ophiomancer. You know what? I'm a bigger Ophiomancer fan than a lot of people, I think, and that's fine. It's good with Recurring Nightmare. It's good with Scarab God. Is just juicy. I'm gonna take Scarab God. We have a Water Grave and a Scalding Tar and a Marsh Flats, so I'm okay with that. Entomb, huh? Interesting. 
Hmm. Hmm. It's probably better than a Regisaur, maybe. Maybe not. Dark Slick Shore is also good. Yeah, I think in Tomb the upside is just higher. Celis Conscripts, are we really going to have like another... Well, I guess if we take that out, it's more reasonable. <laughs> yeah, I think Celis Conscripts is extremely powerful. Vampiric Tutor is great, but for some reason it just doesn't appeal to me. I don't know. What up, Faded MTG? Oh, Metamorph? Oh, I like a Metamorph. Yeah, that's definitely the pick here. Yeah, we're just doing Grixis medium things again, and I'm okay with it. I'm here for it. Look, the reanimate came back, guys. It's almost like I knew. It's almost like I've drafted this cube. Also, I've heard in a Luis cube video where he's like, I'm not really big on reanimate, and I'm like, okay, so no one else will be either. <coughs> Sounds good. Oh, that is not correct. Glorybringer I absolutely love. Eh, yeah, the Night's Whisper came back. Okay. <clears throat> That's our first two drop. Man. Six got some spice. Might just play Vampire Hex Mage or oh Rakdos' return? Well that's that's good. Come on, moxes and signets. Moxes and signets and puppies and kittens. Rainbows and mm, doggies and whispers on mittens. Do 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 Demonic Tutor is kind of like power. I bet him to Torok tables because no one has any respect whatsoever. I'm gonna take Demonic Tutor. It's like Dark Petition, only 700 times better. I wonder how long. Let's see how long this green screen is. I'm going to measure it. <clears throat> oh, a Mind Twist? Well, that's better than Rakdos' return. And it's probably better than anything else in this pack. Little bit higher as I must go. Reserve card is mine to send put this here. And you're about eighty seven. Eighty seven inches long. Mind twist it is. <coughs> Can you break down the math on exactly why so well I could, but then you wouldn't learn anything. Oh, Demir Signet? Oh, yeah. That's what Father likes. 87 inches long. Oh, Ancestral. Steam Vents. Oh, yeah. Steam Vents is it. That's where, we're, that's where we want to be. See, like, now we're in Tomb Reanimate. It's just not looking very good. Steam Vents is looking very good, though. Uh, I like a Murderous Rider. I also like a Signet and a Basalt Monolith. Hmm. I think it's just Basalt Monolith. I think Basalt Monolith is just too good. Oh, I like a Creeping Tar Pit. I also like an Inferno Titan. That is another dude I don't mind... Reanimating. Hmm. I think it's just creeping tar pit. <clears throat> I want to make sure my mana's good. We do only have like two blue cards. We already have water grave, marsh flat, steam vents, scalding tarn. Four, four sources. Plus we'll add one blue for the solemn five. 
and then six with this guy. I think it's just Inferno Titan. <coughs> Hero's downfall is pretty easy. I don't love Plague Crafter, so he can get the boot. Mm. I mean, this Prowler's not bad. Like, are we really going all in on reanimate? <clears throat> I guess we can just reanimate their stuff if, if, if nothing else, but. Like, we can only reanimate, like, one or two creatures that are even worth reanimating. I think I almost like Shriek Maw better than, than Prowler here. Show and Tell is hot trash. And the Hymn to Torak did come back, just as I suspected. Also, Kozilek's not terrible. <coughs> if you're just... <coughs> excuse me. If you're just through the Breaching them, it's actually better than Pen Ulamog. But you can't reanimate either of these guys, so I don't think we'd play two. Kozilek's also easier to cast, which is a thing. I think we're just taking him to Torok. Like, with him to Torok and Mind Twist, I feel like we're really going hard on their, on their mana, on their, on their mana, mana base too. Oh, we get a Bone Shredder. Vampire Nighthawk, I, I, God, I actually like Vampire Nighthawk more than most, I think. You're amazed at how fast I pass show and tell the card is hot trash. <laughs> the card is garbage. <clears throat> show and tell is the biggest trap in the cube. Like, with only one reanimation card, I really don't even think we want, uh... Thank you! Uh, Entomb here. TPO, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Man, I appreciate it. Oh, Languish is nice to have. Guess who didn't have power for a week? Oh my god. Exile is because of the, the earthquakes, my dude. Six hundred plus four point zero or higher. How is that even real, dude? I feel, dude. Puerto Rico has had such shit in the past like two years, man. It's unreal, dude. I hope you. I'm glad you're okay still. Jeez, <laughs> God, you've been like surviving nonsense left and right, man. All right, we gotta take one card out. Also, Magic Online is doing that thing where I can't zoom in, which is actually gonna drive me nuts unless I restart. A thousand plus two two point oh and over. How is that even possible? Shut up and take my money. That seems unreal. I donated twenty five one day and got you slapped in the face and felt kind of bad about it. So here's another twenty five. No slap required. Wow, wow. I appreciate that, man. I guess I guess now that I have that, I can turn the other cheek, which was not slapped. <clears throat> I don't know. Earthquakes are not my area of expertise. <laughs> on a like on a daily like regular basis, how much has it affected you? How do I get back to my? All right, so we can quit that one. How do I get back to my thing? Um, I don't want to play match. I just want to go to the. I click that. Okay, cool. Edit, edit deck. Oh wow. Okay, so I guess we're just building this bad boy from scratch. Him to Torak Knight's Whisper, Demonic Tutor, Duress, Reanimate, Hero, Basalt, Metamorph, this guy, this guy. Shriek Moss seems fine. I don't know if I'm moving or it's the Earth's moving constantly. Yeah, that's actually that that would actually trip me out. I'd be like, I can't tell what's real. This is 22, and you get one extra card here. Okay. I think we can work with that. Also, our mana base is great. 
I, yeah, I didn't even put the I didn't even put the Entomb in, Marky Mark. TPO, thank you so much, man. My local game store just started Pioneer up, and I'm not really sure where to begin since I've only put the standard. What's Pioneer like? I don't know, actually. I haven't played Pioneer since the cube started. But once the cube ends, I have a bunch of Pioneer decks that I have to play for people. So I will definitely be uh, diving in after that, so to speak. Spellseeker gets Demonic Tutor, him to Torok, Reanimate, Duress. I actually like Spellseeker. Excellent. I'm actually uh, really grateful and surprised that Puerto Rico is still standing after after both the hurricanes and the earthquakes recently. Like, I can't actually imagine, other than like Australia currently, I can't imagine a country that's gone through more consistent like natural disasters in the past couple of years. Uh, streaming has been my main my main job for like three years now. Yeah, streaming and uh, and articles and things and things of that nature. So. Um, I think this is good. Yeah, we'll have new drafts and Pioneer and Standard. And I, I, I like that, that the new sets will likely impact Pioneer more than they will, like, say, Modern because it's a smaller format. I refuse to believe the uh, the the brush fires in in Australia. All of them were, were started solely by arson. That's uh, it's a little bit far fetched. <clears throat> All right, so let's sort of I converted mana cost, mana costuses. Okay, so I like that it goes eight mana, X mana, eleven mana. It's interesting to me. What was I doing? I thought I forgot something. I was thinking about Languish. Um, it's actually not terrible. <clears throat> I might like it better than Spellseeker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I think we can board it in when we need it, though. Alright, so 7, 8, 9. Scalding Targets, Blood Crypt, 10, 11. Let's go down to 10 for now. I'm only going to put one island in. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We get one more. That's pretty cool. The news is saying that they're solely started by arson. Like the entire the entire continent of, of Australia is, is was the bushfires are solely started by arson. And do you have a... Do you have a can you provide a source? Because, I, I mean, that's interesting. Are you doing or how are you going to set a review of Theros? Uh, we're going to do it on Friday. That's when Rob is free. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I mean, like, three teenagers, like, I can't imagine they caused some fires and it spread to the entire continent, though, right? Like, the whole continent is on fire. Like, it's not... Now that softball started up, Rob won't have much time. That's true. That is true. I really don't know what the last land is. I think it's just another swamp, interestingly enough. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Eh, we'll just add one more. Yeah, all right, sure. Currently have about 800 families homeless sleeping on the street in three of our countries because they lost their... That's insane. That's so insane, dude.
Like, that's so crazy to me because, like, the Puerto Rican people have to be, like, they have to have such strong resolve and, like, like to in order to, like, to go through Hurricane, was it, was it Irma? I actually forgot which one was the huge one because, like, I'm a Floridian, so there's a ton of them. But, like, yeah, this hand's good. We can get a Blood Crypt. I'm going to put it in front of and back. Like, to go through all of that and, like, just over and over, like, it's just... Yeah. I can make more mana as well. Dude, that's insane. We got some trailer homes down in there being hauled as we speak. Truckers and tow truck drivers volunteered. Yeah, dude, it's like, oh, God, that's crazy. It's so surreal to me. Like, I feel like I'm almost like... I don't know. It's very strange. Your counter this? Mana leak? <laughs> Mana drain. Okay, sure. That is better. One, two, three, four. You have eight mana this turn if you play land. <coughs> That's good. That's a fair amount. David Ben Beg Begnod. <clears throat> I just found the page and like the first pictures that load, it's like, oh god. Brutal. That's interesting. How many cards did they have in hand? Hey, hey, <clears throat> oh, what up, Rob? Rob, was, Rob and I were supposed to get barbecue today, but then he bailed on me. That was messed up, dude. Can you guys shame Rob in the chat for bailing on barbecue today? It's messed up. He was like, yeah, man, let's go get some barbecue. And I was like, oh, sweet, that sounds awesome. And then he just never showed. <laughs> Typical Rob. Come on, Rod, what up with that, Rob? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Rob didn't do that. I mentioned wanting to get barbecue, and he was like... He just kind of dodged it. He dodged me. He doesn't like... He doesn't like me very much. That's fine. We can either make them discard two and play a Basalt Monolith, which is a pretty strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Or we can make them discard four of their seven. I'll, I'll go with four of the seven, I guess. Wow, we hit three lands in a Liliana's Triumph? Ugh. Ugh. Maybe they just have trash, or maybe they just kept all the good cards. Yeah, that's probably what happened.
If you guys hung out with Frank in real life, you would eventually bail him too. Wow, dude, that's messed up, dude. Wow. He's basically bailing on our friendship. Wow. 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 And I defended my friend. Tireless tracker off of Mana Vault. Fascinating. Is that just so you can crack a clue? <coughs> a land would be great so I can drop this Inferno Titan like it's absolutely hot. Come on, land. Let me just kill this tireless tractor. Do 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 do. A tireless tractor. Oh, they took my my himini cricket. Oh, look, we hit a land, so now we can myrtleize your guy. Oh, I'm just got a water grave here. This is my Inferno Titan. Do -do 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 -do. Rob told me he's planning to uh, come visit frequently to stream. Probably like once or twice a month, he said. Where's the other dude? I don't know. I don't know who you're referring to. Oh, a good bone shredder. That's that's pleasant. That's pleasant. Oh, I see. I see. I think it's just Scarab God. I mean, do we try to Night's Whisper hit a land? I think we do. Worst case scenario, we just take Basalt Monolith, right? This guy. Less thin, less creepy. Wow. <laughs> oh, Lord. <clears throat> All right. I guess uh, Scarab God is uh, the reason for the season over here. I kind of like Kaya here because it gets rid of their stupid uh, their mana crypt, but, you know, mana vault. Mana Vault. But, uh... Really, all they played was, like, Time Twister, Mana Vault, Tireless Tracker, Bone Shredder, so... I think we're actually fine. Apparently, I'm creepy. And, uh... And the guy behind me is less creepy, so... Hey, what's the record? The record is one game up. So far. Can you tell Mike that when he comes back from clam shucking that he's been missed? I will. I'll be like, hey, Mike, are you done shucking those clams? Shut up and take my wow, money. that's an old meme. <clears throat> swords and angels power can us. <laughs> I like how simple that is. You're like, swords and angels, that's all you need to take. Power can override. All right. I will, uh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Doomsday, thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate you. Let me write it down. Snap keep. Turn to him is always legit. Unless they duress it. They're going to duress it. Well, it was good. It was good. Oh, they're going to thought seize it. My bad. My bad.
This hand has natural Tron. <laughs> it does, because we can get a steam vents, and then it's like, it's the trifecta. This is not a hard pick. I don't know what, what the decision is here. You just take the, you just take the hymn to Torok, my dude. Yes, this hand does seem worse now. I agree with you. Also, they know what to play around. Sure. Nickel Brolis? <clears throat> is that the dragon god himself? Yes. Yes, it is. <clears throat> I played Pioneer yesterday with your Boros deck. What a fun deck to play. People yelling when I top the Reckoner are just in the perfect time. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. How did you do? Oh, look, they did. They have Thoughtseize, Inquisition, and Duress in their deck, so in my face, I guess. Hero's Downfall, huh? I guess they have a Planeswalker. Fascinating. Sunday, Mund, Leovold. Sounds good. I like a Leovold, my dude. Glorybringer is no god. It's pretty great. But it's no god. That sounds just like if you could play a card called Brad Pizzas. What does that mean? Has anyone unrolled with Bolas? Not really. I think Bolas is just fine. I think any Planeswalker in the cube that plus ones to draw you a card or negative threes to remove a Planeswalker or a creature is usually just fine. It's not a creature every format and there's a lot of cards you want to get rid of. three cards in hand. We really want to hit lands here. Oh god, they cast Brainstorm on the, and then started to complain. I mean, like, even if they cast Brainstorm and not their main, it's still pretty bad. Like, you cast it on their turn, you get to draw one. And then still put two back, so... I actually don't miss the old legendary rolls. I think they were un uh they were not fun. They discouraged people from playing um specific cards. Like like there were actually formats where like you would only play four Jites because it killed your opponent's Jite, like It's just not as fun. Like <clears throat> Like I wanna play my cards. I wanna if I have a Jace the Mind Sculptor or a Geist of Saint Draft, I wanna be able to play those cards. I don't want to, like, I don't want them to be removal spells, you know what I mean? Excel, I literally just saw it. That's insane. This is what, this is what Excel just showed me. Or, uh... early at so like stuff like this always really puts it in perspective for me when you get to see like infographics like this i'm not sure if folks understand what's happening in puerto rico it's not one two or even three earthquakes it's thousands it's constant fear it's collapsing bridges it's not just a lack of electricity it's about fear anxiety uncertainty haunting already debilitated like look at like look at this amount of earthquakes that's unbelievable to me that's terrifying like that's i can't even like i can't even imagine like having to that's so crazy to me. Like, I 
Like, because you hear it, you, you hear it on the news and you're like, wow, Puerto Rico's got a bunch of earthquakes. That's rough. But then you see it and you're like, like, holy fuck. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <coughs> That's unbelievable. Like, I didn't even, like, it's in my head. I'm like, I, I didn't know that many earthquakes were possible. <laughs> like, is our opponent... Oh, they lost connection at 7.53. Are they just... They can't be mad that we copied this, right? Because... Okay, they joined the game. I'm like, there's no way they're just mad because they knew we had this, right? So... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, that seemed weird, because now I netted a card. All right, well, that's the thing, I guess. <laughs> what? I guess we're both in top deck mode. Sure. I wonder if they realized that was going to happen. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, this is never getting better, right? So they get to draw one, but we still get to... Like, we have a better chance of hitting one now, so... I sure Crassus is a good one. Yep, that's a decent one. Actually, it's not, because we have Leovold in play. Okay. Oh, man, Leovold Time Twister is a hell of a combo. Yep, not blocking. So you can just play your Hydroid Crassus and draw cards. Nah, I'm good. Oh, a Den Protector. That's good too, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm trying all the things that target other things. So like, even though our opponent chose to uh, chose to Time Twister, netting us a card. Shriek Maw. I kind of want Shriek Maw, but, like, killing Den Protector doesn't actually do much. Like, if we go Shriek Maw into Den Protector, they get to draw another card. Which is not ideal. I'm just going to pass here. I have a, I have my doubts they're gonna get time twister back. <sighs> sure. I like that you flipped it post combat, but I guess if you're getting Leovold back, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Uh, that's frustrating. No, I guess we just reanimate the Metamorph and cast, like, put on Leovold again. It seems fine. <laughs> oh man, the glasses on the sub are fantastic, Danny. I'm just gonna keep blocking Leovold, I guess. I mean, we let them draw two, but we also get a like they're gonna draw one if we keep Leovold on the board and we shriek maw this. So, yep. Oh, that's pretty good.
All right. Well, we're not we're not dead yet. <clears throat> yep, that doesn't do much. I will block your guy. Hope you don't have Mana Drain as your last card, I guess. Okay, well, now we got something going. Okay, I don't think they have anything because they just played a land. But, oh boy. Uh, bottom. Swamp him. Swamp him if you got him. Boy, this turned out well. Now the sub sees everything. Oh, man. The sub with some glasses on is pretty hilarious. Um, do you want to bring back anything else? Probably not right now. Um, you know what? I'll put that on top. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Good one. So you have to kill Scarab God and Inferno Titan right now. I don't think you're going to do it unless one of your cards is a damnation. Wooey! Ooey, Rick! <coughs> yeah, if we had like if we had a way to discard that old mog, we can in response get it right on back. That was a hell of a match. That was fun. I had a good time. Mm. I feel like our opponent drew a little better than us, but we might have maybe we played a little better. I don't actually know. I don't know who who played better there. I don't know how Magic the Gathering works. It's all very confusing. Who is this Rick you always mention? Oh, it's my friend Rick. Yeah, the Time Twister's funny because it makes me discard my hand, but at least I get to draw a card, and then it goes to my turn. So I, I basically have two cards to their no cards. And that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. I will play first. I like it. I like it. So we're just going to get a watery grave. <clears throat> How was Thank it that you. loud? It didn't seem like it was that loud. I don't think we want to tutor here. Mitch, tell Gavin I said hi. Yo, Gavin, what up? I don't think we know what to get here. I have my head. Well, you know what they say. You gotta, you gotta be prepared. Oh, look at that! They kicked it. Look at that little kick chalice. Let's go get this water grave before we accidentally draw it. No, 
New Paw Patrol po bo toys. Man. Paw Patrol was not a thing when I was a kid. Alright, let's see what happens here. Golos and Karn. I hope Karn was your plan for next turn. Yeah, apparently kids actually love Paw Patrol, so I assume Gavin is no different. When I was a kid, my go-to shows, uh, and as an adult, my go-to shows are were, were G.I. Joe, He-Man, and Mask. I don't know if you guys remember those, those gems. Oh, I like a duress into an Ophiomancer. Repeat, cryptic command. Well, I'm sorry, that's gotta go. <laughs> yeah, okay, see this is pretty funny. Mr. Crispy just sent this. This is the this is the Solosite Malm runaway rad train. And uh <laughs> Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is a solid meme, my friend. Solid meme. Okay, so cryptic command. Oh, now you're just going to crew your, your Lutso scoots. Okay. I believe... This guy's got three, right? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. So we know you just have Repeal in hand. That's the only card to know about right now. So we're free to kill this Revel Arc? Why can't we hit a land? I guess we can actually go get a black, right? We can just Demonic Tutor for a black source. Hero's Downfall and then be set up for both of these next turn. I don't love it, but I'll do it. It's not my first choice, but it is healthy. anything better not really right I mean this leaves them with just repeal and there's no targets for for the rebel arc signet doesn't let us play heroes downfall this turn which we want to do because that post turns off their copter and it takes four power off the board I mean, I'm sure they're gonna draw. They're just gonna draw a creature right now, which is a phantasmal image, and then they're gonna get a nice little, nice little scoot. And that's unfortunate. It makes Nickel Bolas much worse because next turn they get a a snake. So even if we kill the Ophiomancer, it's <sighs> a good draw. Who can conscript the Ophiomancer? No, oh, that's any good. Oh, that's well, all right, that's pretty good then. You just kind of got to hope, you know. Uh, black and red. <coughs> Cross them fingers. What? Where did the... Oh, wow, you discarded the repeal? F come on, dude. That's annoying.
This is annoying. I feel like we had this game in hand. And then they top decked a remand. I mean, they would have been able to play Blade Splicer and still... But no, they would have drawn Signet instead, right? They would have had Signet in hand, and they would have had an extra turn with Nickel Bolas. They just had... If they didn't have Remand, like, I think we actually have this, so... It's kind of funny. Magic's a funny game. Oh, we should have played Signet first. Oh, you're going to counter this one, too? Um... Why would you tap your mana there? It's so weird. Oh, no, we didn't want to play Signet because we actually wanted to discard the Signet. 3, 4, 5, 6. That's how we didn't play Signet. Um... The only thing we have to get this guy back is Remand. But if we draw through the Breach, it's pretty nice. Not re 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 reanimate, not remand. And if we if we reanimate, we're actually taking eight, and I don't think we're taking less than that next turn, so we're not going to be able to bring this guy back with reanimate. So we're not going to put him in the graveyard. We're just going to hope to either cast him or top deck it through the breach, which is probably pretty good. Sure, solid draws, man. Very very good draws. Let's bring in Languish and Nighthawk. Take out Ophiomancer. Mm. I don't know if Shriekmon's very good. They have Blade Splicer, which we can't hit the, the, the guy. We can't hit the Smuggler's Copter. Let's take out Shriekmon. I'll keep it. We have 10 sources of black in the deck. Odds are decent. Of course, we have two islands in the deck as well, and they're both in our hand. Well, technically, you have four islands because you also have watery grave and steam vents in your deck. Black source. Through the breach. Well, if we hit something good, come on, Ulmog. Blade Splicer. Tinker. Well, that's pretty good, actually. I choose you. If only neither of us had islands. Hmm. <sighs> well, this is a game. One time, Gristlebrand or Ulamog. Gristlebrand or Ulamog. We are looking for a Gristlebrand or an Ulamog. It's funny because Revelark doesn't do anything. Gristlebrand? Ulamog. Pretty, pretty, 
pretty, pretty, pretty good. I don't know if that does it, actually. They just block, right? They block and then we're dead. Yeah. I don't think that does it, but we still called it. And that feels, that feels good. They just sack all their lands. They block. And then we died on this guy. Oh, well. We tried. Why does an Ulamog have haste? <clears throat> or uh, trample, rather. <laughs> haste doesn't matter, I guess. Yep. Yeah, we wanted a Gristlebrand there, unfortunately. Or an Emrakul, because Emrakul would have actually done it, because they would have had to sacrifice six permanents instead of four. So you can see the difference here. Yep. So could we have gotten anything with spells here? We'd have six mana. Do we have any three mana spells that are non-black? Nope, not even one. Okay. Well, we tried. What can you do? <laughs> Big fan. How dare you, Jake? How dare you? <clears throat> good games. Good games. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's got some colors. It's got some things. Do I have a preferred conditioner? No, I don't really use conditioner by itself. Most of my shampoos have... It's Most of my shampoos are shampoo conditioner. Um... Hmm... Yeah. If this demonic tutor was a was an entomb, can you imagine the combo? But I can tell you that when I use a shampoo by itself and then I use a shampoo with a built-in conditioner, the difference is noticeable. So What is this? Uh, what? What? I don't. I actually don't get this. I think it's real good, but I'm like, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, <laughs> I do use two and one. It's true. Who's got the time to to use two different things, man? Should we get Crystal Brand for through the breach? No, we should get a little mog, right? Jesus. Good lord.
I'd say I lived with a woman for the past seven of the last ten years of my life. So, I mean, I feel like that's a long time. <laughs> oh. Wow, Wrath of God just to kill an opium answer, huh? That's interesting. All right, well, hopefully they tap out again. You guys use separate conditioners? Is that true? Like, is that a common thing? Good lord, man. Ancient tomb. Hmm. Oh, they're just playing this guy so they have less, they have more permanents to sacrifice. They also go to five here. One, two, three, four. They'll have three lands, I guess, if they sacrifice this little tiny dude. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent for us, I think. Fascinating. <clears throat> well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, that's what I was literally thinking. I think we do this, get a card, and then reanimate the Brazen Borrower to block their Geist, or the to block their uh, to to block their Angel at the very least. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. We shall see. Cool. It did not work. JT is pretty good. Is is pretty great. Yep. I mean, there are five. We can also just cast Shriek Maw, and kill them with Shriek Maw. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can actually do both of these things. What do you think is the most underrated card in the cube? It's a good question. I definitely I definitely know of some. Um I definitely don't think show and tell is underrated. Wow. I think Brazen Barber is good. I don't know if it's the most underrated card. I think people know who good Fractured Identity is, but I do think it tables way more than it should. I think Sylvan Library is supremely underrated. I think Sylvan Libraries go way too late, but I also think that just might be because green... 
I don't think it's Golos at all. Like, Golos is just worse than Psalm Simulacrum a lot of the time for me. I don't actually understand the appeal of Golos. Like, it gets you any land, sure, but... I mean, there's very few decks that actually have lands that are, like... Like, you can get a creature land, and that's pretty cool, but... <clears throat> What's up? I mean, this is three a turn, but if we keep the Chandra alive... Like, that's two a turn, and I think it's just a stronger card to have on board. Angel of Sanctions is better uh, than it gets credit for. I agree with that completely. No. <laughs> Don't like that. Yikes. All right, well, Chandra's dead, so we might as well uh, put ourselves in a position to cast Gristlebrand next. Well, we already had the mana, I guess, but that's annoying. I agree, Moat is also a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet card that actually has, I think that's a much bigger impact than people give it credit for, because there's not a ton of ways to remove it, especially in certain decks. If you're black-red, you might as well just concede to a Moat. Yep, that's going to kill a Chandra. You're at three. Do I have anything that can kill you at three? Probably not. <sighs> it's unfortunate because we can't get... Um... Oh, I guess we can just kill them with Zealous Conscripts. Is that the best option we have? Inferno Titan might be better. Can we play around? Yeah, let's just get Inferno Titan. Got him. I think people know how good Course of Portal is. Um... I kind of like Rampage here because it makes them sacrifice their Geist of Saint Draft if that's a thing they have. They can also sacrifice an artifact. So, that's pretty cool. I'm always, I, I think, I think Spellseeker is overrated unless you have like literally Ancestral Recall Time Walk. Take Shriek Mob, bring in Plague Crafter. I'll keep this. We definitely need some lands, but... We do have him to Torok. We can also just discard this Inferno Titan. I think that's actually pretty decent, to be quite honest. Frank, please rank all cards in Q and we'll tell you if you're wrong. Oh, dang it. Show me what you got. I mean, they have Brazen Borrow, right? So this could be a risk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talk about having it all. They missed a land drop, and they played Everflowing Chalice for zero? Oh, that's pretty sweet. 
Sure. <laughs> so they missed a land drop after Ancestraling, and then they played this without a counter on it. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> Is this real? How are they missing two land drops after casting Ancestral Recall? Yeah, they forgot to kick the chalice, apparently. Why wouldn't they just cast it for two instead of discarding it? <laughs> and by two, I mean two mana, one counter. Oh, wow. Now we're looking. Now we're looking okay. So, Blood Crypt, uh, Watery Grave here. Wow, now we're getting punished for not getting the steam vents. Jeez. <sighs> Fucking eye roll. I mean, I guess they could just literally mana tide this anyway. Cool. Can you read this Rakdos card in hand? Are you talking about this one? It's okay, guys. They only double ancestral this game. Josh, what's going on, buddy? I'm glad you had a good time. Well... You know, I have a feeling they're not going to lose by decking themselves. Swords, Oblivion Ring, Disenchant, Consecrated Sphinx, Venser, Sea Chrome Coast. Nice hand. I mean, it's also turn 7 and we've missed 3 land drops. So I'm going to actually concede here. Because what's the point? I actually like this hand on the play, no less. Remand, Signet, Factor Fiction. Oh, and look, a spell seeker to, uh, to get the old, uh, you know, the old thingamajig. I guess we get rid of Remand. It is hip to be square. It is definitely hip to be square. Yeah, just take right hand. Okay, okay. So now we have to get Blood Crypt and Steam Vents. Let's not forget that. Plains Orzov Signet. Seems good. That's 
the planes. I mean, they're just going to play Spellseeker and get Ancestral Recall now, so that's pretty rough. Or they're not going to hit a third land. This is going to be Steam Vents. So we're not going to make that double blue mistake, double red mistake again. <clears throat> well, we give them extra turn, but we do get a Glory Bringer, so... Not hitting lands is pretty brutal. Blood Crypt. Through the breach. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to play Glorybringer first in case they have Mana Tithe here. Yep, that's why we do it. Well, now they're just keeping up Counterspell. Wow. So just to be clear, the sequence of events was they draw Mana Tithe. They're able to Mana Tithe their Glory Bringer so we don't have a threat. We draw through the Breach in Ulamog. They draw a, a blue source that comes into play untapped. They don't play their Spell Seeker. And uh, now they have just Counterspell up because they've drawn Counterspell, Land, and Mana Tithe as three of their cards. So that's pretty rough. I can't think of a single reason why you wouldn't play Spellseeker here. The problem is, like, they have no incentive to play anything else. I, I, I'm not going to make them have it. They have it. Like, they would play Spellseeker. Like, they wouldn't pass two turns in a row with a Spellseeker in hand. Yeah, you can play Breach at their end step, but, like, I mean, they're still going to counter it, right? And now they have four mana. And there's the counter spell. Seven mana. Four, five, six, seven. Just have it all. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, look. Spell seeker into ancestral. No, it's definitely not the only way they play it like that. Like, you just don't have any reason to draw cards there. Like, you have lands, and there's definitely things in my deck that I can do that would blow them out like that. Like, so. What if we just get reanimate here? They didn't swords this, and they didn't ancestral into swords, which is weird. Consecrated Sphinx. Vanishing Light. Sure.
Cool. Okie dokie. I mean, that makes our Angrass Rampage much stronger. I will choose my modes with Cryptic Command. Oh, Mana Drain. Sure, knock yourself out. <sighs> the old Spell Speaker Ancestral Snapcaster Mana Drain. That's pretty good. I gotta slum it over here and cast Gristlebrand for a for an eight man. Oh look, they they played it correctly this time. Taking two here. Oh wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need nine mana. <laughs> well, can't do anything. I guess we'll pass. Here comes Sphinx's Revelation. Yep, Snapcaster Mage. Oh, Christ. I didn't know what you mean, not. What are the odds they have more counter spells in hand, guys? We know they have a factor fiction in hand. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think having power in the vintage key was about is, is I think it's positive. I think it's definitely um it makes the it makes the cube worth playing. Like, I don't know, it's 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 very unique. It's much it stands out from the legacy cube, from the modern cube, from every other cube. And um the enjoyment people get out of playing power like Moxes and, and Mana Drain and you know, Soaring and Ancestral outweighs you know, the imbalance that, that it has in specific games. Especially because if the cube is well built, everybody else should have tools to to combat those. <laughs> cool. Must be nice. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. Whoo!